So, um, next up, we're gonna have the amazing Jay come and sing for us.
Brian, give them one more round of applause. One more. Wow. Wow. Um, tonight mainly was about showcasing the talent. We had part one last week, um, which we had a great turnout for. Obviously, we've got part two with a lot of our partners and people that have supported us. So I want to say a massive thank you to all the people that continue to support us. I want to name a few people. I like to name and shit. Michelle, please stand. Stand up, stand up, stand up. You, you know, growing up, many of you know my story. I started coming there when I first came here from Jamaica. So I was a youth, um, 11 years old. I started coming there as a youth club, and I'm still there till this very day. We run Friday nights. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so it's a long time, but having people like Michelle um, throughout my life, has, I've grown up, has been a mentor to me for a very long time, and still is. You know, so a massive thank you for what you do. <laughs> Akida sits on our board of directors, so as you know, Kai, so we have a governing board, and Akida's there alongside Alex Chair, and Akida does our finance. And it's, you know what it's like, it's hard to get money, funding, all the rest of it, but Akida works really hard to try and secure funding for us to do great things. So Akida, thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Throughout the year, we've been on hiking, we've been everywhere. Uh, but, yeah, two years we've been working with Angel and the TAP project. They come here and they do a lot of mental health work with us as well. So next week, Angel's gonna come and do some mental health conversations. So we've got people that come and engage with us on a regular basis. So Angel, big up to you, thank you, thank you. MSB, stand up. MSB housing. <laughs> You always hear me talk about MSV and the stuff that we do. I've been your youth ambassador for 40 years. That's a long time and we've done a lot of great work. If many of you know where the old um, building was, it's now newly refurbished. I opened that building last year. So if you look outside, it says it was open by myself. But I love MSV and the work that they do. So thank you for the work you do in our community. I appreciate it. <laughs> Nikki J, stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clap for him, clap for him, clap for him. Anytime I'm stressed and I need to de-stress, he's at the person that I can call anytime and he supports me. So thank you for everything you do for me. Yeah? Kai Soul Team, stand up. There's a lot of these, you know. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Clap for them, clap for them, clap for them. Not all of them can be here, but we have 101 members and they're all involved in the work that we do. So Kaiso team, thank you for being amazing. One more time, clap for the Kaiso team. UA92, come forward, come forward. Clap for Karim, UA92. He just wants a quick word. Can we give a round of applause to everyone for that one more time? As Kimoy said, a uh, similar story to him. I came from Little Island, Montserrat, when I first moved to Moss Side, I came to the powerhouse and they supported me, got me through school, college and uni, and now I'm here giving back to the young people, so honestly guys, everyone else wants to come out, please come out, amazing. The message of inspire, nurture and develop is really showing through here at Kaiso, and everyone, I know we thanked everyone, but can we give a massive round of applause for Kimo as well? University down in Old Trafford for a new institution called UA92. And we were opened by the class of 92. So some of you may not remember them because you're so young. So that's Gary Neville, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, etc. And they opened this university to give young people an opportunity and a chance that they didn't think they could get. Yeah? We're a completely different institution to other higher education institutions. And at the moment, we've launched a community project on th the last Thursday of every month. And what we're doing is we're trying to inspire, nurture and develop similar to Kaiso. 
We have some young people from Castle coming, but also other community groups across Manchester. We have four main subject areas, that's sports, business, media, and digital. And we're doing courses in all of those. So if you're in business, and I know some of you sell Kit Kats and Lucas Aids in school, but you want to be a real entrepreneur, come down. If you're into media, you want to learn some con content creation, do some podcasting, come down. If you're into fitness, a bit of sport, you can learn about that. Getting into physical education, working with athletes, we're doing that. In digital, we're coding, we're creating games, we're creating websites, we're giving you that expertise. We're giving you skills outside of higher education, outside of college, outside of school, but we're making it fun as well. Yeah, make it engaging. It's a bit of fun, come down, check out the university campus. It's 15 to 18 year olds, completely free. There's food as well. And from seven to eight, there's activities. So there's um, Oculus headsets, VR headsets, table tennis. We've got a dance studio, so if anyone wants to dance off with me down there, if you don't want it, but yeah, bring it. Uh, <laughs> we've got a gym down there as well. So yeah, come down. And the reason I keep coming to Kaiso is because I believe in Kaiso's message, but I also believe in United too. I'd love to see more young people come down to United too and give them the opportunities. Higher education is not for everyone. Uni isn't for everyone. Even though I work for a uni, it isn't for everyone, yeah? However, United too is giving opportunities that other universities wouldn't give. And that's why we're here, myself, Regan, I've got another colleague called Josh. We're trying to spread that message and give you young people the opportunity. Because when I was growing up, it was difficult. Luckily, I had powerhouse, people like chemo, etc. But yeah, that's why I'm here. But if you want to ask any questions, feel free after. I'm here, Regan's here. Cheers, guys. I want to thank Mossside TV. Blacks is at the back. Can we give him a round of applause as well? I think one of the things that hurts, and I've said this to Blacks in the past, there's a lot of people out there that says Powerhouse does nothing in the community. And I'll be very honest and say that a lot of the times they don't come here to see what we do. So we're always encouraging. This is why we've done the talent night, two nights, so we can get people to come in and spread the word, but we're doing stuff here. There are stuff happens from Monday to Friday in this building, but a lot of people in the community don't come and find out. So I think we need to try and get the message across. That's why I wanted Moss Side TV to come today, because I know a lot of community people watch it, for them to see that they are welcome here. And I want to try and get more people to come, come and have a brew with us. Come and have a coffee, tea, whatever, like the young people are very welcoming. You've seen them, you see what they're like. We don't have no trouble here and we get some of the most, you know, obviously young people from so many different backgrounds that come here, but they're great, they flourish here when they come here. Whether they get involved in things or nothing, we are keeping them safe. And that to me is one of the biggest things you can do to support our young people. So I welcome anyone from the community. Every Friday we're here between six and nine. Um, we have food, we do loads, loads of young people. So please spread the message around, let people know that we are here. If you know of any young people that need a bit of support, that want to come here, that want to have conversations with Angel around mental health, you know, we've got all those services working with us. We've got DJ, we've got dance studio in there with Jenny. So there's so many of our team that are doing so much social action and great work in the community. Tomorrow, some of them are doing some stuff with Reclaim. You know, they're doing a lot of social action. Jenny, do you want to just come and expect? I like to put them on the spot because I want them to talk and tell you. Uh, Jesus, my voice is gone. Um, ah, hello, hello, hi, hi, hi. Um, I'm Jennifer and uh, I'm part of SLT for Kaiso and uh, I'm also the head of Dance and Performing Arts. And uh, along with the work that we do, we don't only do performing arts, we also do a lot of community work and social work. For example, we had um, Reclaim, there's this lady called Easy. she came through and she's run a few workshops with us. And uh, thanks to that, we got to go to this, um, it is a workshop, we went there last, last Saturday and last Sunday and we're gonna go again tomorrow. And basically everything that's, what we do there is uh, basically work on campaigning and like fighting for what we believe is important in the community. For example, like cleaner areas, more activities for the youth, um, literally just about anything that you feel strongly about. And they are teaching us how to basically fight for our rights and what we believe in. And uh, we also got like a lot of opportunities for example we got to listen to a lot of speakers that came through then we also got to do some hands-on work and tomorrow we're going to be doing the actual um the, the actual campaigns yeah so that's some of the work that we get to do thanks to kaiso and kimo um, 
Just to also share some good news, we did not too long done a project with Puma, the brand Puma. So that's yeah. <laughs> they sponsored our team for a year, which is really good, and they gave us a donation as well, just to help us towards food poverty. Come, Michael, come model for them. Come show them the Puma again. Clap for it, clap for it, clap for it, clap for it, clap for it. Look at that, look at that. Sponsored by Puma, so they invested in the community, into local projects like Kaiso. So, mommy, come rock that, rock that little air pants. Come, bring it, come, bring it, come. Look at that, turn around, turn around. Look at that. Look at that. And the shoes, okay, okay, okay. Clap for them, clap for them. So community, we need you guys. I think all the time I'm always promoting on Facebook, everything, telling people about the powerhouse and what we do. But we need you guys to come and support us whatever way you can do, um, please do, because um, we need it. One of the things, I'll be honest with you, one of our big challenges at the moment is food poverty. Um, and you all know with the living cost crisis and food rises and all of that, for the last, I'd say, four years, we've provided food for the young people every single night. Every single night. Yeah, every single night. Yeah. And we do that, we do that because we want to tackle food poverty. I'll be honest with you, sometimes I get emotional because I see the young people come and they're hungry. They're really hungry, they want food. And that's why I said that sometimes, even if they come and they come for the food, I would rather them come in and get fed because that's what we're there for, to look after our young people. So I'm really grateful. That's what I mean, the work that Akida does in terms of getting us sponsorship and funding so we can continue to address these things but we love our young people we love the work that they that they do here um, and we're just encouraging more people to come and stand the fight with us continue to campaign with us and continue to spread the word that we are here at the powerhouse um, and we're here to support the local community yeah thank you this is what they like you know we like it Um, first of all, I'd like to say, like, Kimo is too humble because he's acting like he's not done all of this for us. There's not a single thing Kimo doesn't do for us. He feeds us. He, bro, we could be having like the worst time of our day as long as we call Kim. <laughs> as long as we're feeling like sad or depressed or whatever, we can call Kimo and he'll take us on a ride. There's literally nothing Kimo has not done for us. All the opportunities, all our talents, everything literally stems from this man. Like, there's literally. When I say there's nothing, nothing, when I tell you nothing, yeah. for example, this is two from me here too. I'm a dancer, you guys have seen me just dancing like I've been doing it my whole life. I started last year and it's all thanks to Kim and my team, mommy. <laughs> like the people that have been pushing me and supporting me to do this. My job, if Kim I hadn't sent the opportunity on the group chat, I wouldn't be making peace like I am right now. Yeah. <laughs> When I tell you there's nothing like DJing, so many members have started DJing just from watching Kimoy do it. I've got to perform on some big stages just because Kimoy has shouted us for those opportunities. Puma, Puma wouldn't have sponsored us close if it wasn't for Kim reaching out to them. Like, Kimoy, whatever he does, he puts us first. And for that, I'm really grateful. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I want to thank Bumi. Bumi, come to the front. Come to the front. Come to the front. Yeah, okay, okay. Bumi, still come. Still come. Still come. So, um, my name is Maxine, and I'm from Salford University. So, I'm a social work lecturer. So, um, I'm really interested in young people and developing your skills, and I've seen a lot of talent to that today. Um, so, big up. Um, I think you've done really, really well. Um, well done. I'm very impressed. Um, but I'm happy to come along. To Kaiso and talk about health and social care and run workshops if if need be. So I really want to connect with you guys and really give you the strength and the knowledge and the skills to do whatever you want to do. Um, I've been at Salford for a year and there's lots of black students coming through our door and there's lots more black lecturers. So I want you guys to be that one day as well. So thank you very much. Me. Uh, hello, Angelique Sweeney, worker. Um, thank you. Um, so I've been doing youth work for over 20 years, but in the past, what, five 
five to seven years have been doing mental health and emotional well-being. I work for an organization called 42nd Street. Uh, 42nd Street is the largest mental health charity for young people in Greater Manchester. We've been running for 42 years. Let me tell you, it's the best place I've ever worked at. But what I will say is it's for all young people, no matter where you live, what you do, if you're in school, if you need whatever, up from the ages of 11 to 25, 40 Second Street is there to offer you online advice, therapy, clinical interventions. You can come down to groups, you can go onto the website, you can get online support and you never even have to come through the door. And then if there's anything that they feel they can't help you with, which is not usually the case, there's always signposting available. So as Kimoy said, I'm coming down next week. We sit down, we chop it up, we talk, and I do a lot of stuff around emotional well-being because mental health, everybody's got it. When people say, oh, mental health, do you know what I mean? Just to try and break down the taboos because we know what the crack is when it comes sometimes to certain communities and our community. Everybody's got brain, fastest brain on earth, just thought I'd let you know that. Everybody's got brain and sometimes we just need a bit of help to feel better. That's it. So that's what I'm here for. Um, I will leave my card. chemo has got my details. Anything you want to ask, just shout me. Nice one. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. <clears throat> Hi everybody. Hello. Um, I just want to say, uh, my name is Chunde. Um, I'm from Farnworth. Um, I've never been here before. Um, literally, I'm blown away. Um, I'm a professional dancer, and so, <laughs> so it, honestly, I mean, seeing young people performing and doing great things literally made me so happy. But um, you get to find out a little bit more about myself. Um, obviously, my main work for my organization, um, Dan in Farnworth. Um, just to let you know, um, Kimo, I'm really proud of what you do, honestly, with these guys. Um, completely blown away, okay? So well done, everybody. Um, I'm noticing it's a can here as well. We, we actually work with can, and we do quite a lot with you guys. Um, what we can offer people here, um, we work a lot with one of the biggest network, like O2, Vodafone, 3 Network, Samsung, iPhone, etc. So, if anybody, what we're trying to do is eradicate data poverty within the Greater Manchester. So, anybody needs support with networks in terms of we can actually cover the cost for your network, unlimited code, text, data for up to a year. So, anybody need that support, I will pass some information to my mate and we'll be able to support you with those kind of things. And obviously, there are other things, I just, but we're gonna start from somewhere. Then um, I will obviously speak to Mami and Kimo on what we can do to sort of support what you guys do as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Listen, I'm coming to you quick, you know. Yeah. And lastly, just the family. Nana, Nana, sister, stand, please. Just want to thank these for just. Nana, Nana, stand up, stand up, come on, stand up for us. Come on, Nana. My nan has come all the way from America um, to support, so thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. And Mama Claudette, big up yourself. This is my mother. Just to say thank you for the support. Yeah. All right. Right, we've come to the end, um, but obviously I want you guys to hang around. We've got food here now. That's why the driver's been calling me, vibrating in my pocket, so I need to sound out. Um, but we've got food now, chill around, get a tour. We've got some of the team that can give you guys a tour who's never been in there before. So we can give you a tour around the building, music studio, all sorts. But hang around, chill with us for a bit. If you've got to go, you've got to go. But if you want to stay with us for a bit, hang around, see what's happening. Get some food, chill with us for a bit. we are finish at half past eight. Um, so we've not got long left, about another 30 minutes. So please chill with us and yeah, just come and ask any questions if anything. Yeah, mommy? Yeah, to our DJ. 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 Tisha, we wanna party. And again, Tisha, we wanna party. It failed on me that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was trying to get a sound effect there, but it didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, yeah, thank you, Keisha. Thank you so much. 
The team, they're just amazing. We've got 10 now on Pi Radio, the radio station. So 10 of our team now have got on Pi Radio, including DJ Keisha. DJ Keisha. But they are the best team in the world. God's blessed me with such a good team. I don't have no troubles with them. They don't stress me out. They don't cause no problems. They come, they get involved. They come, they get involved. I love the work that they do. And they keep me smiling. So team, big up, Kaiso in the place. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Good night, God bless. Take care. All right, all right, all right. All right. You say, listen. Right, good night, God bless, thank you everybody.